Hey guys, it's Simon here from OneDeckStop.net for a hands-on video of the latest Windows 10 Mobile Insider Preview build. A few days, Microsoft has a few days ago, Microsoft has released build 14.3.22, uh, which is the latest build for Windows 10 Mobile devices, and has also been released for the PC. This is finally a build which brings new features to the phone uh, instead of only bug fixes and performance improvements. So let's dive in and have a look at the new features of build 14.3.22. So here we are, uh, let's start with the lock screen. Um, two changes you might have noticed already uh, during the introduction of the video. Uh, you have no now such uh, controls here on the top of your lock screen uh, where you can switch between songs and play and pause playback although it's yeah it's working uh, you can just pause video uh, songs from here uh, and if you do have buttons on the display uh, you also getting a camera button at the bottom left here um, to launch the camera directly from the lock screen even if you don't have a, a camera button which most uh, low-end devices don't have so this is a pretty nice addition uh, and you maybe you don't need uh, the camera button so much anymore um, the music control on the top of the lock screen is still not the best solution since if you are using Windows Hello example, for example in the Lumia 950 um, the, vol the control is displayed, displayed at the same um, position like the Windows Hello icon which um, tells you that your phone gets unlocked so it will be probably moved down a bit or uh, it will be displayed at the bottom of the lock screen. We will see what Microsoft is doing here. But it's a first sign that Microsoft is thinking about uh, introducing something like that. And they're just not pretty sure how they should implement it in the operating system yet. So that's the lock screen. Um, but uh, instead there are a few other changes. We do have Cortana has got new features, the action center, settings, emojis. Uh, feedback app has been overhauled and yeah so let's just go through it um, the notifications in the action centers are now grouped by app so you get one app icon um, for all the notifications of the app and not every notification has got the icon beside it um, which is yeah it's a matter of taste of course but it's looking very really good uh, what's nice is the ability to display images in the action center. Um, developers can implement these, this feature in their apps so that uh, if they do have a sports tracking app for example uh, and you finish um, your workout the, the app can show you the route you have been uh, running for example in the, in the notification center and you can click on it for more information. Um, this is just an example which I've set up in, in Cortana. Uh, reminded to do a hands-on video of the latest Windows 10 Mobile Insider Preview build. Uh, with an image here on the top. You can click on the notification and edit it. As you can see here's, here's the image in the notification center. We have just seen the top of the image. And yeah, you can set time, everything. It's... it's um, really easy to do that in the hamburger menu on the left you can go to reminders and just uh, set a new reminder and then you can enter uh, what Cortana should remind you of you can insert an image a person place or time uh, where it gives you even such drop down menus um, there you can just choose from the people hub which is really cool um, 
Yeah, and if you have set the once you have set the reminder, um, it will just remind you and display. In, in case you have set an image, uh, it will display the image along with the message you have set to be reminded of. Um, I'll just uh, set the reminder again to be triggered one more time um, so that you can see what the notification looks like in practice. Okay, one minute approximately. Uh, meanwhile, we, have, we will have a look at a few other new features of this build. Um, and the action center, we have all the notifications here, but also the quick actions. And these can now be uh, customized as well. You can go to system, notifications and actions. And here you can add and remove quick actions if you don't want to have three rows here. You can remove all the other quick actions so that you just get one row. Um, you can also rearrange your uh, quick actions. So if you long press and hold one uh, quick action, you can just uh, drop it somewhere um, to rearrange the quick actions. That's pretty cool. Um, I like that. It's um, I mean, it's a bit pathetic, but if you, you can, for example, re rearrange the quick action then that you have your active ones on one side and the other ones somewhere else. But yeah, um, it's nice to have it here. It just allows you to even more customize the operating system. Um, if you, if you, uh, you can go to, I'm not sure is it here or somewhere else. You can now set uh, the priority of notifications for each app. Uh, so, for example, if it's normal, it's just displayed how it appeared, um, sorted by time. If you give it a higher priority, it will be higher and uh, sorted higher in the action center. Uh, you can choose how much notifications should be shown from the app and notification sound that has been here before already. So uh, you can set the priority and number of uh, notifications an app can show you. Uh, and where, where we are in settings now, as you can see, uh, Microsoft has finally added such nice little icons here in the settings menu. You still get the regular image uh, icons here, from which you might know from Windows 10 desktop already, uh, which do have the same icons. Uh, but the, if you go to a um, uh, menu now, you do also have the icons here and they have added it to every uh, menu in the settings. They have also moved some options, um, like for example, the glance screen, uh, navigation bar, that's now all in personalization where it belongs to. Um, it's good to have it here, easier to find. Of course, we do have a pretty good search uh, function in the new settings app, but it's nice to have it now here in the directly in the uh, personalization menu where you're probably looking for it. Um, now, apart from that, we do have another change to Cortana. Um, if you're setting up your phone, uh, Cortana will automatically try to download um, the right speech language settings for you so that you don't have to go to settings and activate Cortana and download the right speech settings. It's just uh, it's doing that automatically now. Um, what I, I've seen now is that if you're writing emails with some persons, Cortana tries now to remind you of these emails and tell you that that you don't forget it. You can set a reminder then or just dismiss it if you say, no, I don't need a reminder for that. But it's it's cool. Uh, it's finally the, fir the first time I've seen that, that Cortana is really uh, interacting with my email account. Um, but I'm not flying around a lot, so... I don't know how it is if you book a flight or something or a hotel, um, but it's cool to have it. Um, 
Yeah, settings are now directly here in the hamburger menu. You don't have to go to notebook and then the settings uh, like in earlier versions. Okay, so next off, um, Microsoft has also introduced a couple of new emojis with the latest build. So we'll just write a new uh, message, go to the emojis, uh, the, the icons at the bottom to choose which emo emotions you want to choose have been changed. And more importantly, all the emoticons have been redesigned to match the more modern minimalistic design of Microsoft's um, new design. So that's cool, um, it's not important, but it's a nice addition to make the operating system look a bit more finished. Um, another thing, the feedback hub, um, there you can now um, react to feedback, you can write comments to feedback other users have submitted. So if you if you see someone um, submitting a feedback which you think can be fixed already with a workaround or something, um, you can just go to feedback um, and then click on any one of these and just write a comment below so that other uses, as you can see, it's it's used a lot already. Um, apart from that. There hasn't been changed uh, very much. It's still the same feedback app where you can um, search for different feedbacks, uh, submit your own feedback, submit suggestions, bug fixes, all that stuff. Um, yeah, that's it actually. Uh, a couple of days ago, a uh, video with the universal uh, messaging experience leaked or better said the uh, messaging everywhere feature. Um, that hasn't been included in the in this build. Uh, you still get um, the options to sync your um, uh, to sync your text messages, download messages, um, but it's not possible to um, write text messages directly from your computer to, to send them um, to the phone and to the participant of the conversation. That will be introduced probably in a later build this year um, and will be implemented with the Windows Anniversary update which is set to re be released this summer. Uh, so yeah, we will probably see this in the next few months. Uh, drop me a comment below if you have any questions about the latest build? Um, I'll do, I'll probably do another comparison video between an um, older build and this build here. Uh, maybe I I'll have time to do a performance uh, comparison between the 930 and the 950 with the same build installed, so that you can see how older older Lumia phones are uh, performing compared to the ones with our sold which are sold with Windows 10 Mobile. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to have a look at our website, onedexstop.net. Uh, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.